I want to talk about how to get rid of your headache. Now, what some people do, they just take aspirin. And if you want to do that, that is your choice. But I want to talk about a very cost-effective way. A way where it is not going to cost you anything and no side effects at all. Now, you may want to write this down. Now, there may be <clears throat> a better way than what I am going to tell you. But the thing that I do, I repent of my sins first. So I say, God, please forgive me of all my sins. Then I touch where the pain is at. So for you, your headache or whatever, you may have pain right here or right here or here or maybe <laughs> your whole head. <laughs> your whole head. So just if it's right here or everywhere, just touch your head or whatever and say, in the name of Jesus, I am healed or I declare myself healed right now in the name of Jesus. And then, there you go. And you may say, well, I have tried that and it has not worked as quickly as I thought. Well, perhaps it is not going to work instantly. It may not work as quickly for you than other people. Sometimes it may take a day. Sometimes it may take the next day. Sometimes a few hours, so on and so on. But you just have to believe that when you have prayed for yourself that it has already been done. The healing has been done. So you have to use your faith. And myself, I don't know how long it has been, but I have not been taking aspirin for perhaps over a year. Over a year. And that goes for other pain as well. Sometimes I have a pain in my wrist or my back or my uh, ankles or knees and stuff like that. I touch the pain or first I repent first. So I say, God, please forgive me of all my sins. Then I touch where the pain is at. Then I say, I declare myself healed right now. And sometimes I pray for it more than one time. Some people believe that you should only pray for it one time. I guess you can do that. But sometimes I pray more than one time. Like my right wrist right here. Like at times I feel pain in it still. But I am still believing that God has healed my wrist even when it may still hurt. Does that make any sense? So my wrist been hurting for maybe a year or more. You know, I injured myself when I was lifting weights really bad. <laughs> But at one time, I believe it was my left arm. I think I messed up my shoulder, my left shoulder, my left wrist, and my forearm. I really messed my stuff up, but I was in sin as well. So when you are in sin, that is going to bring more curses to you. This is why I am telling you to repent. So, one easy way where you don't have to take any more aspirin. And I believe that taking aspirin is not really good for you. 
I don't think so. I don't know. But I don't take aspirin for any headaches or anything like that. Does that make any sense? So, <clears throat> really take heed to this. And you may ask me, well, can I use this for more than headaches? Yes. Like I told you, I pray for my wrist. I don't think that this one hurts anymore. Nope, it don't. This one kind of hurts sometimes. Sometimes, you know, like, I believe last week I had to shovel snow and it snowed so much here and I was shoveling and stuff like that. <laughs> I was sore for maybe <laughs> two or more days. It was pretty bad. It was really bad. But I prayed for myself and no more pain. Yes, it may not have happened, you know, that instant, but I have no pain now. My back was hurting really badly. I won't say badly, but there was, there was pain. So, really take heed to that. Pretty soon, I believe that everything else that hurts on me is going to be healed so I can go back to lifting weights again. So, God bless.